When we come to the, to the carpal joint, there are three levels of articulation, which means there are three joint cavity. The first articulation is the antibrachiocarpal. Then we have the metacarpal, and then we have the carbometacarpal. So antibrachiocarpal between the distal end of the radius and ulnar with the ferrous row of carpal bones, the mid carpal articulation between the ferrous row of the carpal bone and the distal row. And then you have the carpometacarpal articulation between the distal row of the carpal bone and the metacarpal bones. Now, the mid carpal joint cavity and the carpometacarpal, these two communicate with each other. So you can only inject one of them for both. The antibrachiocarpal joint, it has a joint cavity by itself, so you need to inject it separate. Okay? Again, three levels of articulation, antibrachiocarpal, mid-carpal, and carbometacarpal. For the mid-carpal and the carbometacarpal, we do only one injection at the level of the mid-carpal bone, we go in between the third and the second carpal bones, okay, and we do it over there. So now let us see how we do it on the actual animal. For the carpal joint, you have to flex the elbow in a 90 degree angle. So you need to flex, okay, the carpal in a nine degree angle because this will open the joint cavities. Now, for the antibrachiocarpal joint or antibrachiocarpal level of articulation, your landmark is the tendon of is the tendon of the extensor carboradialis and the tendon of the common digital extensor. You feel these two and you go in between them. You need to be careful about the cephalic vein because it also runs on the dorsal aspect of the carpus as this level here. So when you palpate, okay, you move the tendon of the common digital extensor and the cephalic vein with your thumb medially. Okay? The soft area here, this is the area where you insert your, your needle. When you go to the mid carpal and the carpometacarpal, I said you do only one injection, and you do it in the area between the second and the third carpal bone. You insert it over here. The landmark for this one is a little bit challenging, so you need to, to take your, your time. So this will do it for the arthrocentesis of the shoulder joint, the elbow joint, and the carpal joint very important that you familiarize yourself with all the landmarks that you will utilize to access the joint cavities of all these joints. Thank you.